Hi guys. Welcome back to another sister series mm -hmm. video. If you haven't watched our last two, make mm -hmm. sure you go catch up. One was about Valentine's Day, then one was like New Year's themed, so very cute. It's officially spring. Yes. yes. So exciting. Yeah, the spring... I think it's the vernal equinox was the other day. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like also, New Year. also yeah. the astrological New Year, so Pisces season is done. Oh, rip. I know. And it's time for spring. No, spring, spring New Year, everyone's coming out of hibernation. Yeah. We are Sun's blooming. Yes. Very excited. Longer days. Hour. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was only about thank, to say. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Honestly, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in honor of spring and mm -hmm. summer starting up, we're going to get ready together. Yes. And talk about some fashion trends and New beauty season. trends. Yeah. Give a little vibes. spring roundup. Yeah. 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 I'm not the most talented in the beauty world like Hallie, but I do try to add a little bit more color and go for like a yeah. glowier mm -hmm. look in the yeah, summer. Yeah, I definitely go for glowy. I honestly do less makeup in the summer, so. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm not like on a beach right now, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll be just doing like full glam. <laughs> Spring, new vibes, mm -hmm. different wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly so excited to go through my closet and like purge. No, same. And on yeah, and like I'm get good. new, mm -hmm. just a few new staple pieces. What are some? Spring. What are your pieces that you need? These. I have been wearing. I love them. The same pair of a gold, a goldie, a gold. Are you gonna say jeans? Jean shorts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. And I, I love them. I'm obsessed with them. But it's the only ones I ever wear. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah. yeah. And now that it's getting so warm out, I just like love. Jean shorts with like a white tee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. cowboy boots or even like flip flops when we're on the beach or whatever. Mm -hmm. Bathing suit, whatever. Yeah. So I really need to get another good pair of jean shorts. Jean shorts. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I only have one jean skirt right now. I which was like, gonna say my jean skirt. Which one jean skirt is like perfect. Like you don't need multiple jean skirts. Yeah. But the jean skirt I have is just like, it was always like not perfect to begin with. I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to. I need to get no, the new jean skirt. <laughs> I'm the same way. I just want more mini skirts because I've been loving like the girlier Yeah, vibe. I do think I need a mini skirt yeah, too. Yeah, fun. And I feel like it goes into the 2024 trend of like the micro. Oh, the shorts. micro shorts. Yeah. Short yeah. Shorts. Do you guys like the micro shorts? Give me your. Give me your. Pants. I love them. Yeah, you're. You are a micro short girl. I love my legs <laughs> and like a. And, and I know that maybe sounds weird, but like no. that's like one of my features that like yeah. I'm confident in. Yeah. So I love the micro trend because uh -huh. I feel like yeah. I can kind of pull it off and mm -hmm. it, a way that I feel good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I actually I just got a new like leather. Oh, like cute. cream. Oh, cream. they're cream leather. Like what, think what I wore cream? like for my birthday, like mm -hmm. the, that, but think like a beige. Like a cargo almost? No, it's oh. like leather and it looks like this. So think like we're going to need to like put a photo. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I need> a <laughs> visual. <laughs> but think like that with like a black belt over it and like Tall boots. I think like Western. Yeah, it's kind okay. of giving like festival. Yeah. I also like how the micro shorts you can kind of pull in like the boxer vibe. Yeah, kind of, like, I love the dress it down. Shorts. What pieces are you guys excited to bring out for spring? I okay, like stripes are kind of like coming in. Okay. I love a button up. Mm -hmm. I have really been in my Shania Twain era, like <laughs> man okay. shirt, short skirt. Yeah. And uh, uh, no, like literally, yeah. literally like my going out outfits like the last few weeks have all been like button up and skirt. And also like my beach outfits. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really excited to wear more colored shirts and to get colors are a huge thing. Yeah. Right I was going to say that. Oh, yeah. I also saw something about like rugby shirts. Uh -huh. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like the athletic, it ties into like the preppy. Mm -hmm. I love the cheek. athletic prep. Athletic so yeah, cheek. What I'm most excited to bring out with the spring is like, I want to try and do more patterns and like fun colors that I normally wouldn't put together. I've seen a lot of stuff about like cool color blocking with like yeah. the ready to wears. And so I love like there was a lot of like red, yellow, and blue together, which like I feel like I normally wouldn't. Okay, primary colors. Oops. I know. <laughs> That's an, honestly an interesting mix. I know. But like kind of doing like weird patterns together and like just being colorful and fun because I feel like sometimes I hold back and do more like black, brown, yeah, white, I gray. Color. Yeah. Do you like mixing patterns? No. I think it looks really cool. Yeah. But I don't think that's just like not my thing. Okay, I, 
I'm back on my stripes. <laughs> I see people mixing different stripe patterns. And or like that the looks different really cool. um the different animal prints where it's like the two different types of cheetah or two different types of zebra print. And yeah. I, I think mean, it's like that's like a slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> I just, the second I'm tan, want to be in white or like one bright color all summer. You're an orange girly. Yeah, yeah I, I love orange love and I love white. I already got my white nails. The butter, butter color? Uh huh. Have you guys seen that? Did you see the Mew Mew uh -huh. new mm -hmm. collection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love mm -hmm. that color and that makes me excited, honestly. It but is a pretty peach color. is the new color, like the color right now of the year, I think, or of the season. I thought it was olive green. I thought it was icy blue. No, it's peach, guys. Are you sure? I think like the cut, like the Pantone color of 2024. Oh, was peach. oh, oh, oh! I'm kind of like I'm just talking about what I saw. Well, I love peach. You, like, no, I, no, I like it. It's I swear, the foundational color of my closet is green, so I'm really excited that all of green is in right now. Because yeah, I'm ready to pull out every single green shirt that I've ever bought <laughs> over like the past three years. Honestly, uh. I kind of gravitate towards maroon and navy blue a mm -hmm. lot in the summer, and well, cherry red. Yeah. Mhm. Mm like that's like a big. I love it. I love it. Mhm. Mm I'm kind of excited to make. I feel like the winter, and like autumn red, kind of like see it transition uh -huh. into yeah the spring and summer trends. So I feel like it's just gonna go more like. Like I don't know how else to describe it, but just like farmers market like. The Alan. colors of the farmer's market, like when you think like yes. the farmer's market, like that's it. Like that's uh -huh. what I see. So how do you guys feel about the Western fashion trends kind of coming around right now? Um, the Florida girl in me loves it. Mm -hmm. Or I guess Western isn't very Florida. It's like country. It's yeah, like country. Yeah, we have like enough country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the more north you go in Florida, the more south you get is what they say. And that's, that's a, I've a great never heard that. saying. Oh, yeah. I love it. I yeah. just love it so much. Yeah. I same. could not love it more. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to say it. I don't love it. You don't? What about it do you not like? I think I just hate the, not hate, hate's a really strong word. I think I dislike the way that maybe some people that aren't from like country areas are going about it. <laughs> You're, she wants to gatekeep. She's gatekeeping. I'm not get. I mean, I like in high school, like hated country music. Like, yeah. we didn't own boots. Like, I'm the first one to be like, oh, like now I'm on the country train, you know. Yeah. But I just feel like maybe it's people who aren't from Texas or Florida, you know, or Alabama, like wearing the or like, camo. Or like even like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But camo's different. I think camo is a little like different. I think we need to, you need to think like Wyoming. Okay, valid. Wyoming. I'm saying like, put taking from my perspective of yeah. growing up with our dad wearing camo, and then seeing people do like, the Western cowboy with the Southern, like, country. I'm like, yeah. I just think that like I know there's definitely trends and different things that like, I'm probably you have no butchering. yeah. So like, I don't really judge the like someone's trying to do the. I don't. I don't. Oh, no, I, at the end of the day, I actually don't care. But no, that's yeah. just like, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to preface right now. I don't think I'm actually that skilled in fashion. <laughs> um, my opinion actually matters this much. I just enjoy clothes. Same. And yeah, yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just having fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also think, though, that like the denim on denim. I love the denim on the denim. The fringe. The fringe. Just like all uh -huh. the aspects of. The Western culture yeah. mm -hmm. outfits. Well, I yeah. feel like it's bringing back like the boho chic. Yeah, yeah. there is definitely like a the boho mm -hmm. connection to it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Absolutely. In relation to the boho country Western trends, how do you think that affects beauty trends? Do you think there's any relation? Mm. I feel like it connects more to like boho than like the country. Mm hmm. I think boho makeup is like a thing, and I think it connects to like the indie resurgence, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But like West, when I think like country or Western, like I think like less is more when it comes mm -hmm. to makeup. Yeah. You but know? I also Same. think like what is trending makeup wise right now, at least from what I've seen, it's is like completely different. Off. Yeah, that. that's what I'm saying. Like it's kind of weird almost how it's. 
like the, the juxtaposition. Girl. The juxtaposition. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put a Tumblr girl yeah. and a cow girl in an arena and just let them go head to head. Tumblr versus boho versus wait versus like the office like yeah siren versus, office versus siren versus which is <laughs> versus rugby <laughs> preppy athletic yeah. queen yeah yeah so y'all fight it out y'all fight it out basically King Kylie versus country Beyonce versus <laughs> Sophia Richie I'm yeah. ready versus like. Versus like Bella Hadid and her skinny thumb. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. I just feel like there's been so many, like all of the runways that I've seen mm -hmm. recently are like the dramatic silhouettes or like the outlandish looking shoes or like. Yeah. All of these like bold. Mm -hmm. It's the either like. Makeup is like. It's like either like dramatic. super bold or like very like monochromatic, like mm -hmm. elevated basics, like. What would you call it where it's like all the like ropes and like knots? Mm. Nautical? <laughs> no, but I just think texture is like a huge thing mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And like even like the row, like all of their like, not the beads, but... Embellishments? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you see the row did the no phone? I know. Wait, I didn't see that. Oh, really? No. Well, yeah, do you the row is, is the row is the Olsen, Olsen, Olsen twins. Is. The Rose, the Olsen twins? No, that's why, like, Wait, the quiet, actually? quiet luxury with them is, like, such a big deal because it's like, oh, did you actually know that was them? And then it's, like, even more so with the no phones. It's, like, tapping into the, like, elusiveness. Yeah, like, the, the, the mystery. The, like, elite. Yeah. Almost, like. But on the other hand, which is then really interesting, LVMH, which owns, like, Dior, mm -hmm. Givenchy, like, yeah, all of those fashion other houses. fashion houses is just bought, I'm pretty sure it started, their own entertainment company. Really? To do like digital media in the inner in the fashion space. I mean <laughs> I this is like I read one article on yeah. it. Yeah. And so don't quote me on any of this and I honestly need to like actually look more into yeah. it. But it just is really interesting compared to the row who's like, oh no, no phones. Yeah. And then LVMH is like, oh, we need to get more digital. Yeah, I feel like there's like this like unspoken battle right now in the fashion world that's like, we hate the mm -hmm. digital media side of things versus the like, we have to take advantage Dive into, of the digital yeah. media. With us both studying communications and media. <laughs> media production management technology. We yes. can talk about that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. If you guys are wondering, I am done with my makeup, and this happens every time I do my makeup. I'm done like. She's done about 20 minutes before I am. It's fine. And I'm about 10. Ah! And that's why I love the spring and summer, because I'm. I Yeah, because I don't even have to. Yeah. Uh huh. We're in like the winter, I'm like piling on the makeup, and then I'm like. Oh, God. Who is that? See, but that's why I love spring and summer makeup because I feel like I can do really cool, bold statements on my eyes or like lip or like yeah. do like big, like fluffy brows, but I don't have to like worry about concealing, you know? I love it. Okay, with the trends and stuff, I feel like award season this year has been crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, if I just never paid attention to it a lot before, yeah. but all of a sudden this year, I feel like the award shows and, like, Everyone the fashion. In. Yeah, it was, like, such a big thing. Yeah. I loved it. And I did love it. I was so... The Dune press tour. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Zendaya. Not even oh. just Zendaya, though. Like, Anya Taylor-Joy and Florence Pugh walked out there yeah. and served yeah. everything they could at more. And I just, like, yeah. love sometimes how, like, Timothy and Zendaya met, like, their I outfits know, or their matches really cool. I know. Really That's sick. That's, like, really sweet of them. Mm -hmm. So there's an Instagram account, Data But Make It Fashion, and she is... We are putting you guys on. Yeah, yeah. I'm obsessed with this girl. I actually, She actually just moved to LA, and we are supposed to get coffee. <gasps> I know. I love a girl boss, and she's so yeah. cool. Yeah, I And agree. I just think the concept of what she does is really cool, so it's everyone go so follow her. so cool, yeah. yeah. But she was showing how, like, Zendaya's Instagram photos, like, when she, when it's, like, a new outfit has been on, like, the student tour and stuff, mm -hmm. the likes, like, I almost have to, like, read it. It's actually... Yeah, read it. Crazy. Zendaya's pics of her outfits get 109% more likes on average than any other celebrity. Wow. Which is just like goes to show like well, icon. Luxury law is 
the Instagram, I don't know his actual name, but yeah. her stylist is like huge. I'm pretty sure he officially retired and now only styles her. So I'm not I surprised. I Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. I'm not surprised that like he like goes all in on her, especially with the Dune. Because didn't you guys watch Dune? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen Dune. I, I, really I like fell asleep for like 10 minutes in the movie theater. Oh, you gotta. It's a two and a half hour movie. You gotta re like, gotta push through. Yeah. I'm gonna rewatch it and obviously I love it. I'm a sci fi girl. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's gonna be like our generation Star Wars. Like, yeah. honestly. So true. Well, the other day I was in a bookstore and there's like three or four more books in the oh. Dune series. Like, there's this from one. a book? Yeah. Yeah. I and need there's to an watch. OG. <laughs> yeah. I have not watched him. I, neither of them. I will say, the first one, it took me twice watching it to get into it. But the second time, I really loved it. And now I'm obsessed. Yeah. And no, you know what I've been obsessed with? Is Poor Things and Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Slay the house down boots. You need to watch that. Okay. <laughs> Pittman sister fans. Cancel Hazley because I thought we were gonna watch Poor Things together. That was not discussed. We really did discuss it, and then when Hallie went to the theater, we even made a comment about it, being like, "Oh, I thought we were gonna watch it at home." Whatever. Oh. Wait, I don't think so. I think we yes. talked about Dune. No, we were like, "We're gonna watch it at home. Like, we're just gonna wait and not go to the theater." I will rewatch it with you. It's no, I don't so wanna. Good. I don't want to. I want to watch it alone because that's okay. my Fine. my way, fate. Way, way ambulance. <laughs> so, Emma Stone, icon, mm -hmm. legend. Yeah, I agree. Stunning. Talented. But I will say, I was like, I don't even want to admit this now because I'm so happy she won everything. But <laughs> at first, I was a little disappointed. Like, I wanted Margot to just, like, sweep everything because mm -hmm. I just thought Barbie was so she influential. Like, I just loved Barbie. Yeah. I just, like, loved its impact. I hated how the award season kind of shunned it. And, and shunned Greta. Yeah. I think Greta yeah. deserves oh, so I much agree. freaking I agree. 100%. At first, I was just kind of like, okay, like, cool for Emma, but, you know, kind of wish... All I was focused on was mm -hmm. Barbie. You also hadn't seen Poor Things I know. at the time. I know. Mm -hmm. And all I was focused on was Barbie getting more attention. But mm -hmm. now that I have seen Poor Things, which that is just a movie in itself, Oof. Emma's Killed tenfold, it. literally... I just think she is so talented. Like, that is such a role to play. I mean, her range as an actress. Yeah, it's like, insane. Literally, La La Land is, like, top five movies for me of all time. And, like, I need I to love watch that now. I haven't seen it. I know. I'm not really a musical girl. It's not even, like, a it musical. It is a musical. It's not, like, musically based, though. I would say it's just it's about based. to... Well, don't the industry. opening scene. The opening scene is a music. Number. Okay, maybe there's a few music numbers. <laughs> I will say I watched Willy Wonka and I liked that. Really? <laughs> Wait, you watched? Mom and I watched it together really? after watching Doom. We you were on liked the Timothy it. Show night. I don't wouldn't say I would go watch it again, but I'm glad I saw it. Sorry, Are I missed you your oil plug really quickly. Actually Change of to topic, that. but I'd love to talk about makeup. Thank you, Hazley. Since I'm the only one that wanted to do fun makeup, I did a. I'll lean in close. A glitter silver lid with into a brown smoky look. Big, shut up. Big fluffy brows. Look at those brows. Not and a I nude got... lip. And I'm going and finishing with brown mascara. I honestly, this is not really my summer look. I'm not gonna lie. If it was in the summer, it would look more summer. I feel like that's like your going out look right now. Yeah, with I don't the eyeliner. Know. I honestly think we're at a cool time where it's like certain trends are coming back mm -hmm. that we had in our lifetime, like, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Like I, we're like tapping into things like that when we were younger or that we mm -hmm. saw yeah. with like our parents. And yeah. so I think that's really cool. But I also think we're getting into very new different things that have never been mm -hmm. seen before. Yeah. So it is just like, I don't know, we're like really kind of reaching the mid of the like 20s you know no, yeah. yeah i just feel like with social media and micro trends yeah. honestly people are trying to push past like what we're seeing uh -huh. and it's like making the individuality yeah, of styling like a really cool thing yeah, yeah. it's fun i, I love appreciate it, it. i yeah. love it really it's crazy we're like already 2024 yeah the middle like the of middle. the 20s yeah roaring 20s i know if you know any amazing trends that i should mm -hmm. get to yeah, please tell me please, please give me fashion advice <laughs> please give us insight <laughs> excited to see the rest of what comes out what keeps evolving oh, yeah. yeah constantly changing absolutely even for us i feel like it's cool to watch oh, us yeah. evolve and yeah. like what we're wearing. Yeah, oh, yeah. I agree. My makeup could probably use some more evolving. It's okay. I will work on it. Yeah. 
<laughs> so do the glitter lid next. The summer, the summer look is loading <laughs> still. All the festivals coming up, and I feel yes. like festival season and yeah. all of that stuff. I'm really excited for it. It's yeah, festival season. season. It's fun. It's like the intro to summer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Love you guys so much. We love you. Make all. sure you like and subscribe. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram, Instagram. at the Pittman Sisters. Follow our personals, Hallie.Pittman. At Hazley Pittman. Hope underscore Pittman. <laughs> Boom. Love you guys. Have an incredible new Happy Astrological year. New Year, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Love you guys. Bye.